The first layer is the most important in 3D printing. If it does not adhere properly to the print bed, the print will fail from the get-go. Or you may get a spaghetti arrow in the middle of the print. But before we get to the solutions, there are two basics without a good print bed adhesion is impossible. The first thing you need to do is clean the print bed. Filament, dust or adhesive residue has to be removed so that the filament does not stick to them, but to the print bed. For dust, a damp cloth is sufficient. For adhesive residues, you can use detergent, alcohol or even acetone. If the print bed is not properly leveled, parts of the first layer may not adhere properly. Most 3D printers can be leveled using the paper method. 3D printers with a leveling sensor should also be leveled once manually if possible and then leveled again automatically. During leveling, the distance between the nozzle and the print bed is set the same at the corners of the print bed. Any inclination of the print bed that may have led to the poor printed adhesion is now corrected. After these two basics, we now come to the methods that increase the print bed adhesion. And if one of those solutions works for you, make sure to like the video so it can spread to other people that have the same problem. The first effective way to increase print bed adhesion is to reduce the Z offset, which is the general distance from the nozzle to the print bed. On some 3D printers, you can set the Z offset via the menu. On other models, you have to adjust the Z offset during leveling. If you use the paper method, more friction means a smaller Z offset. Due to the smaller distance, the filament of the first layer is pressed harder onto the print bed and adheres better. However, if the Z offset is too small, you may end up with an elephant foot, where the first layer is too wide. The next four solutions will cause the filament to cool down more slowly on the print bed. The longer it remains hot and liquid on the print bed, the better it flows into the small recesses of the surface. There, the filament solidifies and creates a larger contact area with the print bed, which in turn increases print bed adhesion. The most effective way to keep the hot filament liquid on the print bed and increase the print bed adhesion is to reduce the printing speed for the first layer. If you do not reduce the print speed for the first layer, the hot filament will not have enough time to bond with the print bed. In most slicers, you can adjust the print speed separately for the first layer. As a general rule, the print speed of the first layer should be about 50% of the normal print speed. If you have trouble with print bed adhesion, you can reduce it even further to 5 mm per second. The first layer of your object does not have to be cooled, otherwise it would cure too quickly and not bond with your print bed properly. Normally, the cooling of the first layer should be disabled in the default settings of your slicer. You should make sure that this is the case. A higher print bed temperature results in a better adhesion, but it should not be too high as this will result in an elephant's foot. Basically, you are trying to find the highest print bed temperature at which the first layers are not yet too liquid and flow outward. Try to reach this value in small taps of 5 degrees Celsius. The next method to improve print bed adhesion is to increase the cross section of the printed filament. The larger this cross section is, the more thermal mass the filament has. The higher you set the layer height and or the line width, the slower the filament solidifies on the print bed and has more time to bond with it. The line width can be between 60 and 200% of the nozzle diameter and the layer height between 25 and 75%. The previous solutions should be enough to increase the print bed adhesion for most filaments and print bed surfaces. If you still have problems, we come now to more complex solutions that are sometimes even more effective. The larger the contact area of the first layer to the print bed is, the better the print bed adhesion becomes. You increase this area by printing a raft of mouse ears. Mouse ears are small discs that consist of one layer and are placed at critical corners of the object at the first layer. They selectively increase the contact area and thus the print bed adhesion. If you don't want to create the mouse ears manually in a CAD program, there are handy solutions for most slicers. In Cura, there are practical plugins for this with which you can place these mouse ears manually or automatically. In Prusa Slicer, the mouse ears are called helper disks and can be placed in a similar way. A raft, on the other hand, is essentially a new print bed for your object. It consists of a few layers printed between the print bed and the object. In the slicer, you can activate this feature by pressing a button. The disadvantage of these constructions is that they often lead marks on the object. From my point of view, they are therefore only emergency solutions. There are a few household items with which you can increase the print bed adhesion. Warm water with salt or sugar dissolved in it will leave a fine layer of it on a hot print bed. The salt solution leaves a fine crystalline layer on the hot print bed. The salt crystals make the surface very large, with many microscopic depressions for the filament to cling to.
In the case of dissolved sugar or other liquids containing sugar, a crystalline layer is also formed, which is additionally very sticky. However, this method in particular requires a lot of cleaning after the print is done. There are many adhesives that are used in 3D printing to increase the print bed adhesion. Besides household glues you might have at home, there are now many specialized glues for 3D printing. Hard spray and glue sticks are very popular to quickly increase the print bed adhesion. However, the use often ends up making a mess or preventing you from removing the finished object from the print bed. For some filaments, the better solution is blue tape, which you can simply stick to the print bed and print on it. The porous surface provides a better hold for many filaments than some print bed surfaces. However, there are also specialized adhesives for 3D printing that create a high level of adhesion when hot. Once the print bed with the adhesive has cooled, the object can then still be released very easily. For difficult cases, I prefer to use magic goo. In the video description you can find a link to my review of this specialized 3D printing glue. If you tried every solution I showed you in this video and still have problems with the print bed adhesion, you could change the surface of your print bed. I can recommend a PEE coated spring steel print bed. This surface provides excellent adhesion to most filaments. Most modern 3D printers on the market therefore have such a surface. Another advantage is that you can remove it from the magnetic printing plate after the print is done and bend it. The finished object releases easily this way. With the tips in this video, you should now be able to solve one of the biggest problems in FDM 3D printing. Thanks for being here, have fun printing and until next time.